So uh, I'm Dan, and this is Elizabeth. We're with Beyond the Bedroom, and we are hosting the Kudoshka, Kudoshka Level 1 here in Colorado uh, in the Denver area in September. In fact, September 26th through 29th. Uh, so we're very excited about it. And we actually have a new teacher, new to Colorado, I should say, or new to the Kuroshka in Colorado. Uh, she's been to Colorado before, and she's been all around the world teaching the Kuroshka. Uh, we're very excited to have Amara Charles here. Amara Charles is also the author of Kuroshka, uh, read the Essential the Practices channel. of the Kuroshka. Sorry. Uh, and, and she can talk about that a little bit more as well. Uh, but it's a really cool book talking about a lot of the teachings that actually happen in the Kuroshka level one and then some. Uh, so welcome, Amara. We're, we're glad you're here. Hi, Amara. So happy to be with mm -hmm. you. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to share about Kuroshka, the spiritual sexuality teachings. And I really look forward to a great conversation tonight. Yeah, uh, it's me too. Uh, we actually, I, I've been part of the Kuroshka teachings or uh, attended, I think 2005 was my first Kuroshka level one. And since that time I've done, I don't know, about a dozen uh, Q1s. We call them Q for short because Kuroshka is quite a bit of a mouthful. I've gone all the way through level four on all of those. Uh, but this will be the first time that I've actually taken a class with you, Amara. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, so why don't you in a nutshell tell us a little, oh, before we get into that, I want to say um, that at the end of this, this video, uh, we're going to put out uh, an email, or sorry, a phone number for you to send your emails to, and you will get a $100 off coupon code to attend the Kuroshka, in addition to receive a free download from Amara called I'm going to get it here. The nine erogenous zones. Yeah, where do I have it? I thought I wrote the it. The nine here. erogenous zones of the love game. Yes. The so nine erogenous zones of the love game. Okay, we forgot right. that end part. So yeah. I, I can't wait to get mine because I haven't read it, and I'm going to make use of the free gift. So stick with us. Um, we'll offer you a way to text your phone number to get the email, but we really want to dive in um, and, and start the, the conversation going with Amara. So. Great. We'll leave it over to you to, and it's not in a well, nutshell, but as best you can. Um, right. Can you give us from a beginner's with the we're viewing it from a beginner's mind? What is Kudoshka? Well, the teachings of Kudoshka uh, are the spiritual sexuality teachings uh, from the Kudoshka, the Sweet Medicine Sundance Path of Turtle Island. And what that means is that they are very, very uh, beautiful, ancient teachings that have been brought forward uh, for a modern audience. And so Kudoshka itself, the word Kudoshka, what this means is when two energies, any two energies come together, two people, uh, two friends, two lovers, when these two energies come together, something more is created. Mm -hmm. And so you could say that Kudoshka means the magical more of what happens anytime we connect. And so the full name is actually Shulakwe Kudoshka. Shulakwe means prana, life force energy. So Kudoshka, the spiritual sexuality teachings, will completely alter, will completely transform your whole paradigm about what sex even means. What Kodoshka is a shamanic tradition and what really happens when we experience the Kodoshka one is what happens is we have a whole new connection with the source of our Shulakwe, our life force energies. We get connected back to our core energy of who we really are. And we do this in a very sacred, in a very safe, and a very, uh, it's a very exciting, very beautiful, very loving manner. And so that everyone who experiences Kodoshka, uh, as you said, I've been teaching this for, for 30 years, what happens is you just wake up to a whole new source of energy inside of yourself, really, that's always been there. It's really about reconnecting with the 
naturalness of who you really are and liberating that natural energy so that we can enjoy our intimacy, we can enjoy pleasure. It's really about learning to use our sexual energy with greater care and with greater wisdom. And most of all, most of all, it's about reconnecting again with creation, with nature, because we are nature. So that's, that's a little, little bit of uh, uh, an overview and how we do this, I really like to talk about tonight. Oh, that's fantastic. So what the, the way that I describe it is it's a form of sex education that you will never receive from a textbook. You can get little hints and clues and wonderful teachings um, from this book, but it's, it's very different. I mean, Mara's book is wonderful. You can read about it, but it's an experience when you totally. come to Q level one. And it is beyond any scope of teaching that you will ever get in a, well, I don't even know if we have them, Amara, sex ed class. So um, do you think that's a, a fair assessment? Well, I, I, I do. And, you know, nowadays, fortunately, there are new sources of how you can learn about sexuality in a, in a safe and sacred manner. But you're correct. I wish that Kodoshka, my dream is that aspects of Kodoshka are taught within the educational system. However, you know, we experience this together and learn together about our sexuality in a way that we, we were never taught. I mean, it's completely opens the door to greater intimacy, to greater honesty, to greater sensitivity, and to higher levels of orgasm, more pleasure, more beauty, more connection to life. That's what's really missing in the education. And it's kind of why, you know, I've always been outside of the uh, traditional uh, educational system. You know, Kodoshka happens, most of people who come to Kodoshka, uh, it, it's an experience and they come because someone else came and a friend tells them, like 95% of the people who come and show up in Kodoshka come because somebody experienced this healing, this opening, mm -hmm. this reconnection, and they come because a friend told them, you got to go because this is amazing. Yeah. I, for me, I had a former partner uh, who told me about it. And uh, I thought it was this of all the teachings that I've done has been one of the most amazing teachings that I've been a, a part of, uh, which is why we've hosted it year in, year out. Uh, so love the teachings, love the, the weekend itself. It's a long weekend. So it's a Thursday afternoon starting at one o'clock. Uh, until the evening, and then all day Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, so, so there's a lot of teachings that go along with this. Mm. And 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 there's there's a lot of rich experience, and you really get a chance to. One of the most fundamental things I think I've heard over and over again: people really go home with. What do they take away? Well, I think the biggest thing is that they learn to talk about what they really want. Uh, if you ask people, you know, intimacy within sexuality, you know, wh what do you really want? Uh, most of the time, often, we're vague or we're not sure. We don't really know what we want. What happens in Kudoshka is you get practice and, and practice makes progress. So you practice over and over and over again, um, really getting in touch with, well, what do I want? How much of what I want is based on uh, what 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 I've had before maybe, or what I think I should want, or how afraid am I to just really ask for? So we get practice in learning how to ask for what we want. And it's really a lot of fun. And the thing is, is that when you, when you practice this asking for what you really want, um, so, so much more often, um, this is, this is what you begin to experience in your intimate life and in your sexual life is like, you practice having this deserving feeling like, oh my God, this is okay. And I do deserve pleasure and I do deserve, and I can ask for what I want. That's what you get practice. Mm -hmm. And that is what I believe is missing. That's what we're, we're really not taught how to do. I mean, where, where do you get this kind of practice, this kind of education? And I, I think that what you just said is really sticking in my mind. Um, practice makes progress because practicing also allows us to not only identify what we like and what we want more of, but what we 
don't really enjoy so much mm -hmm. and you know, might leave for, you know, like never to experience again. So practice makes progress. And that's why these teachings, I mean, they are the practices of Kuroska and they're vast and they're deep. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, let's get into some meat and bones, shall yeah. we? Okay. So, well, yeah, tell us a little bit about, you know, some of the things that are actually going to happen at this mm. workshop. Well, um, I, I hope that that folks listening tonight um, will 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 see that there's 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 way hopefully people are listening around the world and maybe not everyone will come to this particular kudoshka. Um, but I, I will say that um, one of the things that happens in kudoshka is that you know we start off and create a very um, very safe container where people begin to express um, what they really long for, what they'd like to experience. Uh, and we do this in a, in, a, in a joyful manner. We create a ceremony together. Uh, we create an environment where it's okay to be honest. And that is the most important thing because that's also one of the things that's oftentimes missing in our education and sometimes in our relationships. So we create a safe container, a safe space where um, it, it really feels safe to ask for ask for what you want to really dare. And and I want to mention in the beginning that Kodroshka, yes, there's very serious, very deep healings that occur. But it's mm -hmm. not a, like it's not like therapy. It's not like you're going to have to like dig into your past and say everything you know that went wrong in your life. Kodroshka is a lot of fun. Why? Because we believe that you can learn through pleasure, that in creating a safe place where it's okay to feel pleasure and allow yourself uh, to feel affection, kindness, gentleness, tenderness, went in this space that, that begins to open up. So we start off uh, gradually and slowly. We get to know one another a bit in Kudoshka in the beginning. You know, we tell stories about where we learned about sex and that sort of thing. And then we, uh, we, we step into exercises. And we, Kudoshka, by the way, is open to singles and couples um, and, and all gender preferences. Uh, we are very open and tolerant space. And we have all different ages of people coming. Um, you know, there, it's, it's always the right time to learn. It is never too late to learn. And so we've had you know, people, uh, uh, you know, in, in their in their early 20s coming to Kudoshka and in their early 80s and 90s even. And so everything in between. So we start off, we do various exercises together. Now, what kind of exercises? Well, uh, we do things to balance our chakras, for example. We, we give teachings about how to enhance the energy of your chakras so the energy starts to move through your body. OK, so it's not only intellectual, you're going to learn about chakras, you're going to feel them opening up. You're going to feel more energy moving through your body. Now, some of the exercises, you choose different partners throughout the program. If you come with a with 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 your your life partner, you can do the entire Kudoshka with that partner and use the time to deepen your intimacy and get really, uh, really, really close, really intimate. You can come as a single and you can work with a variety of partners. And just one funny aside about that, about working with different partners. It's one of my favorite things about Kudoshka. Many, many people have told me that they experience a lifetime of experience. And in some cases, I know this might sound a little funny, but they experience like what could happen in like nine or 10 years of therapy. There's so much experience that you have with different partners that you're going to see yourself. You're going to see, oh my goodness, this is, this is what I do. You know, I shy away or I won't go for what is really attractive to me. Like if I see somebody really attractive, it's like, oh, I, I won't connect with them. Well, you're going to get a practice in Kudoshka of like noticing your attractions and finding out you're going to learn tools to build the courage and the confidence. And then you're going to learn how to approach who you are attracted to. You're going to learn how to, what I, what I love to say is this, you're going to learn how to find your real yeses. Okay. Your yeah. real yeses. And in some cases, your real no's. 
you're going to discover the difference are between what are your no's of like, no, this is, this doesn't feel what I want to do right now. You're going to get to practice that. It's okay. There's nothing in Kudoshka that you ever, ever, ever have to do. We want you to find your real yeses and your real no's. But how many of those no's are just habitual and they're just reactions and they're just made up and, they, and they're really because you're too, too, too afraid or too shy or something like this. So you're going to get the, the, the chance to, to practice finding your own real yeses. And that's going to change your entire intimacy, sex life, not just at the workshop itself. Because when I teach Kodoshka, I am all about what are you going to take home? You know, I don't want people to come to Kodoshka and have this whoosh, this great experience. Yes, it is a blast. It is so much fun. You get really close. People stay friends. It really builds a beautiful community. But what I really, the reason I do this and the reason I've taught Kodoshka now for over 30 years is because I want people to have lasting change in their intimate relationships. And that's what I want to promote so that I can help people. We can help people. There's a great team in Kodoshka. We, I teach with a fabulous team. We have assistants and all kinds of things. So, so that you can take this home and, and learn how to communicate with your lover or your lovers. You know, what, what do you really want? You get to practice, you get that in your body. How can I make a sexual agreement? So that's one of the things that we cover very carefully in Kudoshkas is, is how do I make an agreement? How do I say yes? How do I get to my yes? How do I find out what I really want? We talk about that. And also, you know, again, how, how do I say no in a really clean and clear and honest way? And that is absolutely life-changing. And that's just one of it. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go back to your original question. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. So you asked, like, what kind of things do we do? Uh, it's not all about talking. So we're going to do exercises to clear the chakras, to boost the energy. We're going to do breathing practice. We're going to be doing something called the, the, the fire breath, where you use your breath, the most important thing in our sexuality. And we teach all about this. And we show you how to breathe, to amplify, and to increase your sexy, juicy energy. And it's just extraordinary. It's, I'm so excited about this because you can learn to use your breath in a, in a gentle, in a healing manner to heighten the orgasticness, the, the intensity, the feeling of your orgasm. And that is, happens because of the way that you breathe. So you're going to learn ways to breathe solo. Some of the exercises are solo that you learn these practices yourself. And some of them you take together with a partner so that you can learn to use your breath in something we call chakra merging, where you take this breath and you share this with a partner and you amplify your energy, your orgastic energy together. And there's all here about the you're you're gonna be because I think one of the beauties for me is that you're while you're experiencing that exercise within your own body, you're still in the group container. So, I mean, there's there's also that group energy oh, yes. while you're learning um, to, to feel and express and move this through your body. So, yes, we do this as a community, as a team. And you're going to find out that, you know, of course, our sexuality is very private. OK, but when we are in the collective, what happens over and over is that we actually become a team for one another's beauty to allow the beauty to come out, a safe place where it is okay to uh, feel whatever we're feeling. And so in this way, we support one another to grow and to learn at our own pace. But before I continue, I want you to mention uh, a little bit about what we are offering so that uh, we can, we can uh, have people stay on and, and hear about this very special offer. Yeah. So... Uh, as we said before, if you stay on uh, towards the end of the presentation or the, the talk here, uh, we're going to give you a phone number that you can send in with your email address. And then from that, we will send you a you discount code. You text. Sorry, text to that number an email. 
uh, and then we will respond with a discount code that's $100 off of the Kodoshka one that's coming up in September. The Ken? current pricing for Kodoshka one. Yes, yeah. and so we, we also, uh, I also uh, wanted to extend this gift of the nine erogenous zones of the, the, the love game. And this is an, actually it's an audio and it's a guided, uh, 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 really fun and very uh, sexy audio that will give you some hints and some clues about how to find and excite the erogenous zones of your lover in a way that works for men and in a way that works for women. So we re I re that's my gift and I really hope you enjoy that. It's a lot of fun and people say they really, really enjoy it. That's cool. fantastic. Again, I, like, can't wait, I can't wait to listen. To, is it in your voice? Tonight, and uh, sending that. And, what's that? Is it in your voice? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course, yes. It's me. Okay, <laughs> yes, of course. So I want to go back to what you said earlier. Um, you know, one of the things, I work with women privately, and one of the biggest problems they have is being able to say no. And they'll say yes oftentimes when they don't really know that their no is truly a no. And so I, I love that you talked about that. You know, if you know that your no is really a no, then you can truly say a yes. And you can't if you don't know that. And so that's really a great teaching that, that will be offered, right? And I really appreciate that and, and acknowledge that. Also, asking for what you want. Uh, you know, so many women come to me and they just don't know what they want. They don't know how to ask for it. They feel an obligation. Uh, they don't know that pleasure can be for themselves as well. So I think that's hugely, hugely valuable. Yes. We practice this in the workshop. Yes. And another one of the other highlights that I do want to make sure we get time to talk just a little bit about tonight. And that is one of the favorite things in, in, in the Kodoshka book. Uh, you know, people flip through the book. And of course, there's these uh, beautiful drawings of the different anatomy types. And uh, what I hear from mothers and fathers and, you know, uh, people all over the place, they, they just leave it on the coffee table so that, you know, their, their teenagers, uh, they'll, they'll open the book and they'll just start to learn. I'm really all about learning about how can we teach our children a wholesome and healthy and, you know, respectful and fun way to learn about the most beautiful energy on the planet. As far as I'm concerned, our sexual energy is a gift. Our mm. sexual energy is so beautiful. And that's really the resounding, the essential message of Kudoshka is that our sex is natural, our sex is healthy, and our sex is good when we learn to use it with care and respect. Mm -hmm. And that is what that what happens when when people, okay, one of my favorite parts about Kudoshka, I'm really excited to share about this. Um, we, we share and, and, and teach people that we each have a unique sexual anatomy type, okay? And while I don't have time to, to, to go into this teaching tonight, you can find, uh, 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 you can read about it in the book. And in Kudoshka, we go into, you know, really great, beautiful depth so that, you know, you leave Kudoshka knowing your own sexual anatomy type. Now, why is this, what, what good is this? Why is it so cool? Why is it so important to know your sexual anatomy type? Now, I know, Elizabeth, that you have a lot, you know, uh, to say before, before I share about that, why is it so cool and so valuable to learn your own sexual anatomy type? Before I go into that, is there any questions or anything you want to add to this, uh, Elizabeth? Well, quite honestly, it's they. I, I'm right there with you. Um, so let me just preface by saying I used to be a, a, a sex therapist, and I willingly walked away from my license, knowing that the teachings of the Kodoshka and other non-academic um, uh, sexuality um, educational workshops, books. They, they went far beyond anything that I ever learned in a textbook. And in particular for me um, and, and the, the other people I've been with in the many Kodoshkas that I've hosted or participated, learning about your genital anatomy type blows away any other teaching um, about, for me, my own anatomy because it was the, for me, it was the first time that I learned that there are a whole variety of shapes, 
sizes and colors. Mm -hmm. And knowing of that all of that, the wide range, the diversity. So I, I have a vulva. So the diversity of vulvas just was so calming and soothing um, and just presented so gracefully that I was from that point on, and I learned this, my first Kodoshka was when I was 48. I never felt shame about what I thought prior to that was unattractive, needed to be hidden, and was a source of shame for me because I'm um, I'm bigger than what's represented um, in in you know porn or in any sort of mainstream media. So the teachings, that particular teaching, is is that that changed my world. Yes, thank you, thank you. That's beautiful, Elizabeth, because I think that's that's one of the most important and most life changing aspects of Kudoshka. Um, that I, I I so agree with you that the shame that we carry, the insecurity, mm -hmm. the comparisons, and really it's based upon things that we are making up and that we don't we've never seen and we don't know and we don't understand. So the way we teach about the sexual anatomy types for both men and for women, because my experience is that, uh, believe it or not, in my experience, men have as many um, insecurities, you know, of course, many men and, and many women too, you know, are very proud and, and you know, Kuroshka is, 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 many people come to Kuroshka who absolutely love sex and they love intimacy. Um, and, and, and yet there's these layers. I'm talking about the more subtle layers of shame for both men and for women that, that, that we don't even know how much this layer of armoring shame prevents us from expressing all of who we are. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many things that we can learn. And we are, we are, we, human beings, in my opinion, we love to learn. I love to learn. Okay. And when our sexual shame is lifted, especially those subtle layers, and we can look at our bodies and we can go, wow, beautiful. And I can guarantee you that when you have the experience of understanding what Elizabeth is saying, that we celebrate the diversity, we teach about the diversity. And it's not only the appearance, because now I want to go into a little brief teaching about why this is so cool to know. For one thing, it's going to make you a much better lover, okay? When you know your own type, what it, what it begins to do is you're going to find out because of the anatomy, and I'm talking now about the physiological anatomy, what this, this anatomy, the physiological structure of our genitals tells us essentially in a nutshell is that for some types, all of the erogenous zones, you know, for example, um, the, 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 the head of the clitoris is an erogenous zone. Uh, the opening of the vulva is a erogenous zone for gentlemen. The 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 tip of the uh, the tip of the penis is an erogenous zone. Okay, so there's these various erogenous erogenous zones. I won't go into all of them right now, but we teach about them. And w basically, essentially, structurally, when the uh, erogenous zones are very close, they're all close together essentially when it, it takes very little to stimulate all of these erogenous zones for some anatomy types with, with, with very small movements, okay, with very little. So some women, for example, they can, they can have an orgasm in two minutes and other women on a, on, a, on a typical day, it can take them more than a half an hour. Well, knowing the difference of your sexual anatomy just releases that shame. Hey, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with me. I just have, I have an anatomy that is different. And we say in Kudoshka that no anatomy type is right for any other type. And that the, the, the anatomy, our natural anatomy type, that's our starting point. But any woman and any man, no matter what their uh, anatomy type is, uh, can enhance the qualities that they do have and and really love those qualities and learn to use those qualities. And this is true for men also. 
Mm-hmm. You know, we, we all know that there's a range, you know, there might be insecurity about being more shallow, uh, short or, or thinner. Uh, some men are much thicker. Some are very, very long. And believe it or not, you know, the, the, the gentlemen who have, you know, very large penises, they, they have just as many challenges as those gentlemen that have maybe very narrow or very short. And we, t- we give teachings that empower you. That, that show you how to use what you got. You got to work with the army you have. You got to work with what you have. You got to start with the natural self. You got to start loving your natural self and finding out like, for example, I'll give you an example for the, the women. The, a woman who is there, and they're all named, by the way, you'll see in the book, they're all named after these beautiful uh, animals. Why? Because the and we, that we have different natures and they associated these with the different anatomy types. So there's something called a wolf woman, for example. Now, what do you know about a wolf? Okay, what do they like to do at the moon? Okay, so certain, yeah, I mean, there's a certain structure. I won't go into the teachings. You can see the pictures in the book. And there's a certain anatomy type that this woman, she is loves to howl during lovemaking. That's just one one example. And so I have met wolf woman, however, and this is an example of how the teachings of your natural self can be so empowering. I have heard, I have met wolf women who are structurally, anatomically, I can see they're a wolf woman, okay? Uh, by the way they describe and so forth. So, so a wolf woman, I've met wolf women who are completely silent. They never even make a peep. And that might be because they've learned this and they grew up in that household and it wasn't okay to make a sound. And when they learn, when a wolf woman learns that, wait a minute, that's your naturalness. Hey, I'm a wolf woman, okay? And we teach with all the types. You could be a bear woman, a, a fox woman, a cat woman, and buffalo woman, or a horse man, a bear man, you know, or a pony man. You know, there's all these beautiful, beautiful types, okay? They're all fantastic, okay? And, and when you learn that uh, what type you are, it's like, whoa, I'm a, I'm a wolf woman. You know, you just start off in that little, first maybe it starts like a hum, and then it turns into a howl, and you found out that, wow, the sound of my orgasticness actually enhances, increases my pleasure. Now, I believe that all women, you know, can enjoy making sound, but particularly for the wolf woman, that's her naturalness. And mm-hmm. that's what Kudoshka is all about, is finding who you are naturally, okay? And it's, it's so beautiful. It's so yeah, beautiful. You, you give them, the, the teachings give them permission to go on that quest to yes. learn more about that naturalness. Yes. And also permission to really own the fact that you're different, not yes. different, good or bad. There's no value, uh, a judgment there. It's different, different. And that, I think knowing that that is there and present. It is in nature. So why do we think we're immune from that? It exactly. opens the possibility for so much more joy and pleasure. Yes, and it is so true. So, so true, Elizabeth. And, um, you know, I hope you feel that way uh, uh, too. Dan, you know, we're talking a little mm. bit about the ladies here, but I have found it's it just every bit as profoundly heart opening for, for that's my experience with the men is that, you know, their heart opens and their heart connects with their whole body. And they they learn how to move f- from Kudoshka to be uh, a wholehearted lover, if you will, a whole human being and, 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 and making love with, 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 with passion, with, with sensitivity, with awareness and with care. And that's what Kudoshka, in every which way, you know, uh, the teachings will will bring you to that place of deeper understanding of uh, why do we shut down so often? Yep. You know, one of the things that I've noticed for the men is it normalizes who they are and what they are, because you know, men have you know, where have we seen other penises? It's you know, whether it's in the shower in you know, high school or on porn, you know, we're thinking that, you know, we're, we've got to be like this, uh, and we're not, all of us. And the men who were shortest, um, it really normalized for them that they weren't wrong or bad, you know, they, they were normal. They, they 
you know, there's different ways that they can please women and they can please themselves and they can be happy with that. Yes. Uh, just same with the, the very big man. Um, now they've got a lot of problems too. Like you said, they have as much shame and trauma around the size of their penis as the men who are, are much shorter. And the, everything that's in between, there's just ways to normalize how it works for you and how you can interact with your female partners. So yes. I think with, it's with whoever, whatever. Absolutely. And, and you know, you know, Dan, it not only not only uh, n normalizes it. Um, it, it's it's deeply empowering because with if you cannot love yourself, I know this sounds you know trite, but if you can't really like you know every all the parts of your own body, um, how how is it then when we come together with another, we're bringing we, we, what we want to do is 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 not only just talk about and say yes I love myself and all of this, that's important you know it's to eliminate that negative self talk that little shitty committee in there that puts ourselves down and keeps it quiet. While we have beautiful and profound ways that you will cellularly change your memory. So that inner talk inside where you put yourself down that perpetuates the shame and, and perpetuates the insecurity and the doubt and all of that, we replace that inner self-doubt and lack of confidence and insecurity and all of that with, with, with beauty, with power, with, with teachings that show you that you are fantastic, that you are a beautiful human being, that every person on the planet deserves to have pleasure. What I like to say is that, you know, great spirit did not design us such that you know, okay, these people over here, they deserve a lot of pleasure. And these people over there, you know, no, nope, not so much. We are all cells in great spirits, body. In, 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 we are all spirits who have come here to experience being a human being. Mm -hmm. And one of the most beautiful things about being a human being that I know my, I myself don't want to leave the planet without having experienced the the fullness of the beauty of who I am as a woman and to experience the beauty of who men are and, and who we are together and, and to have beautiful and healing and healthy sexuality. So in Kwadoshka, we introduce uh, an aspect of sexuality that is totally different than just education. Mm -hmm. And it's really about how can we use our sexuality to be a healing force? Mm. Well, that starts with ourselves. Yeah. Well, and you know, pleasure heals. Like we, like Absolutely. you said, way back. Um, you know, there, there are so many things that that pleasure affords the body. Yes. Calming, um, reduces heart rate, um, strengthens cardiovascular system. Yes. Um, you know, learning learning about this type, uh, learning in this type of manner, really allows that embodiment. Mm -hmm of who you are. So it's not just a thinking thing, it's a real embodiment. Um, okay, it's a real embodiment of who you are as a sexual being. And I wanna, I wanna another way that I describe the Kodoshka level one is that each person who attends learns about who they are as an individual sexual being in the body that they're walking around with. Yeah. So, you know, that it's all, this is all about yeah. learning. So me as an attendee about me for Dan, it's all about learning who he is. And you learn about that in the presence of an amazing su support yes. uh, of your you community know, and these amazing teachers. Yes. To include, uh, so, so besides Amara, there's going to be two other teachers, Karen Krauss uh, and Michael Stein. Yep. Um, yes, they're the great teachers, and I love teaching with them. And you know, I just want to share a little a little story. Uh, I just did a kodoshka here in Santa Fe, and uh, one of you know we stay in touch afterwards. And um, so I he he just sent me a, a text, and I share the story because this, this kodoshka isn't only just affecting your 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 sex life. Like when you have a better connection with yourself. When you have a more uh, loving feeling, connected feeling within the energy of your body, within your body, okay. This this gentleman was, you know, he was he was really uh, overweight, and he, you know, he spoke about that, and he spoke about that that wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't making him very happy, especially 
in his in his in his love life, right? Well, we 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 don't even talk about weight loss because there's plenty of other places you can go to. But he just texted me. He said he lost 10 pounds uh, after doing the Kudoshka. And I hear this over and over again. Uh, you know, people, you know, step into new relationships. They they complete. I want to say I don't want to say you're going to find your soulmate because you may find your soulmate. And, you, you know, you also may complete a relationship in beauty. I don't know. But it changes your your path in life. You get in touch with. Wait a minute. You know, what do I want to do in life? That's just what happens when you get in touch with that life force energy. You realize, wow, you know, I'm alive. Life is precious. Uh, wh what kind of relationship do I want? What kind of a career do I want? What do I want? How do I want to repair my relations with my family? All kinds of healings happen. And this is because when we return and we restore to the innocence of our, our and with each other, then things begin to balance, begin to heal. And we begin to see the places in our lives where we can't afford to keep going on in the same old, same old way. There's a lot of changes that happen once you experience Kwadoshka. Yeah, that's the the ripple effect is you know far wide and far reaching. Mm -hmm. Definitely life lessons. Yes. Here. Yes. Yes. I mean, and so um, do you have any, uh, you know, final uh, uh, questions or things that you want to uh, mention before we before we come well, to? I want to make sure to reiterate that that the Koroshka is level one um, is open to singles and um, you know men, women, all genders, um, you know, they're of, and it's a very very welcoming community. Um, what might you say to someone who's a little trepidatious about coming to this alone? Mm. Well, first of all, I want to say that the Kodoshka teachings come from the Sweet Medicine Sundance Path of Turtle Island, and that they're part of a much broader uh, uh, range of teachings that not only include Kodoshka, um, there's, there's beautiful uh, teachings that you can uh, find it, from this tradition. And so somebody who has uh, a little bit of trepidation is, uh, well, one, for one thing, uh, when Karen and I teach Kodoshka together, uh, we do like to talk to every person who comes. And we do this in one part, just, just a brief little bit of a conversation to get to know you and, and to see if you have any questions or you know, any trepidations, really. And, um, you know, some people are like, no, I don't want to know a thing. I just want to be surprised. I, I, I've heard about it. It's, I know it's a safe place. I'm just coming and please don't say anything. Other people, they want to know really in detail. So we do take the time to really um, to talk to you about whatever concerns. And believe me, for the last 30 years, I have heard many, many, um, you know, sincere trepidations. Yeah. You know, I do believe that, you know, after my experience of teaching Kodoshka and spiritual sexuality for over 30 years, I believe that we're still really fragile when it comes to sex. I still am. And I'm not going to lose that. I, I like that tenderness and sweetness. And so it's, 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 we do take great care and great time. And we talk to virtually almost every person who attends. And the other thing is, is, is just we really make sure that you're ready for this. And then mm -hmm. when we all get together, you know, everybody, um, you know, is, knows a little bit about, you know, what is what is going to occur. Because we just want to make sure that this is really right for you and you're, you're excited about coming. And, and, and it also, you know, gives us a way to connect before the workshop starts. So that's one of the things. The other thing is that, as I said in the beginning, you know, for those who have a little bit of uh, uh, trepidation, um, you know, first of all, that 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 fear is, um, you know, sexuality is 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 a huge energy. It's a huge part of our life, and 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 it's and this is an unknown situation. So it does require courage to come. And so, you know, like call us up or talk, find there's other people, there's testimonials on the website, there's, there's videos, you can ask us questions. And so, you know, you can find out as much as you like about Kwadoshka. But I would say that the biggest thing, really the biggest thing when I talk to people that have a little bit of trepidation, and I, I figure that if you're calling me 
or if you're checking it out, there's a little speck of curiosity. There's this little place inside of you that really, really wants to come. Yeah, I would agree. And, and that is just so curious, but maybe afraid. And I really, really understand that. And I do understand how, how like huge this can be. For some people, it's like, yeah, great. And for other people, it's like, I don't think I can do this. And what I say to those people is listen to that voice that you have inside. Just come, just, just come. You're going to be taken care of. I promise you. That is my bit, my most important concern. I wouldn't do this for over 30 years unless I felt and knew that I am going to, to do and our, my, our whole staff is going to take care, that you are cared for, that you matter, that you we will get to know one another, that any fears that you have, that they can be addressed. And, and you're going to have someone really, in some cases, just holding your hand. And, and, and even some people are afraid to just dance. You know, and, and that, you know, you're going to have support. That's what it's all about, to step into these new places so that these places that maybe have been hurt and, and, and maybe they're scared, um, they can have a safe place to, to, to heal and to, to, to be safe again. And you're going to be surrounded by support. Uh, the, the whole staff is, has been doing this for a long, long time. And we care about every single person that comes to Kodoshka. And as I said before, I promise you there will never be anything that you will ever be asked to do that you don't want to do. We don't want you to do that. We want you, again, to find those little baby steps of what feels good to you and yeah. make that. Mm -hmm. Remember that practice is progress. And we want you to have progress. And also, you know, remind people if – after being more informed and educated about what the Kodoshki is and what they could expect, if they come up with a no, they are so held in that space with great honor um, yeah. by everybody. Oh, yeah. um, because yes. that, that's the way, I mean, that's that even that is a teaching. Is Absolutely, there could be a, an absolute it? breakthrough, an yeah. absolute breakthrough. Because some people, like they have never said no when they, when they wanted to for a long, long time. That happens often. Yeah. And, and, and those places are, are brought up and there's breakthroughs that happen. There are private breakthroughs that happen for like every single person. You're going to have your private breakthroughs. Yeah. So, wonderful. So we, we should go ahead and uh, announce the, the, phone get the phone number. So for those of you who have stayed on board, thank you for that. Um, so text your email address to 720-730-8690. And we'll send you an email with your coupon code and the free gift for joining us tonight. And that free gift and again. That was a little fast, Dan. So could you do that again more slowly? Yeah, hang on. We'll, we'll put it in the comments yep. section. Okay. Um, so, uh, but you will be getting also the nine erogenous zones for the love, love game, game by Amara Charles. Uh, so you guys keep talking and I will post it in here. So okay. the, the, the coupon code is going to be up there. We have on the feed, we have already put the link as to how and where you get tickets. Um, we have some on-site accommodations and those are, um, uh, I believe you can get all the information uh, using the link that, that has been posted. Um, the discount code that will come in your email is available for the next five days. And it's $100 off the current price. For yes. this Kudoshka in September. Only for this and that's, 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 only op, op, that's only going on for five days, right? Yes. Great. The coupon for the next five days. Valid so for, the, five. for the next five days, you can come to Kudoshka and you have our gift of a $100 coupon and then we'll get a chance to spend beautiful, sacred time together. So we, we hope that some of you uh, that are just hearing about Kudoshka learned a little bit. Um, we have Kudoshka graduates all around the world who have experienced Kudoshka one, two, three, and four. And I just want to mention that, you know, there's, there's, you can find out, I'm not going to go into it now. You can find out about the website. There's a level two, level three, and a level four. Level four Kudoshka is fantastic. You have to do one, two, three, uh, so you can attend four. But that is happening this year. It's quite rare. It's happening in November. So there is a Q4 happening in November. They need to and I know that there's a Q2 happening in August as well in Phoenix, I believe, by Karen and Michael. 
And then for those wanting to come to the Winter Wonderland, uh, Dan and I will again be supporting uh, Kodoshka Level 2, actually for the first time here in Colorado. So 2019 has a lot of firsts for the, the Colorado um, support yes. team. Um, but again, as Amara said, there is a prerequisite. You have to do each level in sequential order. Um, and the teachings just get more and more powerful. And beautiful, beautiful. But I also want to say that there are some people who never um, uh, take a Kodoshka 2, but they are repeats of Kodoshka 1 three and four times. Yes, so, beautiful, beautiful. You know, there's there's yeah. no pressure to to ad advance, if you will, even though they're not advancing, they're they're totally different. Well, they're very different, yes. And and maybe we'll have another uh, Facebook Live and we'll talk about those differences. But I, I really enjoy talking with you, uh, Dan and Elizabeth. Um, we really ha made this very nice, very easy. I, I feel like this is fantastic because we're meeting for the I for me for the first time you many years karen and michael many years but i'll i'll be and i love colorado so i'm very excited i'm very excited about this kudoshka yeah and we're, we're i've heard so much about you as a, a dynamic uh female duo teaching team with karen um and i i can't wait to be uh in the the classroom with you uh and then outside of the classroom supporting you um and michael as well so um Make Thank use you. of the, the phone number that we've provided, text, um, so that you can then get the email that will have all of these juicy tidbits in it. Um, and we just hope to see as many of you who we've turned on to the Kodoshka um, so that you can learn more about your personal, um, uh, uh, your, your own turn on. So um, anything, Dan's typing away madly. Thank you. Um, Okay. So, yeah, Karen's on. So yay, Karen, I see you. She says she's so excited. Um, <laughs> and Natalie, so. yes, please share. You know, if you know somebody who might be interested in attending this Kodoshka, please share this uh, with them. Uh, know the discount is not pro, uh, go on to the Q2. Uh, it's only for the current prices of the Kodoshka level one. Here in Colorado. Here in Colorado. Yeah, the Kodoshka is all over the world. I mean, they do it in Australia, they do it in Europe, they do it around the Prague, United States. I was just in Prague, and I'm going to Sweden, and Amsterdam. I mean, it's all over the world. It's all growing world. because people are hungry for information that they've never received. So, well, I mean... Yes, and, and we're it. very happy to bring it to, bring it to Colorado, and um, we're gonna we're just gonna have a fantastic queue. And I, I will say that it is filling up. So if you are interested, um, there's there's there are spaces left. Um, but this uh, this this five day uh, period, uh, you're gonna go ahead and get a hundred dollars coupon and all of that. So we just we just want to have more people come. And um, because it's a beautiful thing to experience together. And for those of you who are coming, I can't wait to meet you. Mm. Yes, us as well. Uh, we will also have another one of these Facebook Lives. This is our first one at this, first attempt at this. Uh, and we will have Karen, uh, Karen Krauss, who's one of the other teachers. So um, you know, look forward to doing that in a couple weeks. Yeah, that's going to be on Sunday. I think it's the Sunday, August 19th. It's the Sunday. So I think it's August 19th. But you you all will hear about it. We have we have plenty of time. Oh, looks like it's Monday. Okay, nope, it's yeah. Sunday, August eighteenth. But but you know we'll let this one float yeah. in the air. Um, so you know we'll we'll figure out the different ways that we're gonna pull information so, out of so here. Dan, just one final time, just say that number again and yeah. and then uh, post it again, so people make sure to find it. Thank nice. you all very much. I'm gonna jump. And it was really, Hold really on one nice. thing, You can't jump until we say the number. Yep. So oh. it's 720-730-8690. And you have to text your email address to that phone number so that we can then email our staff, our team, because a dream team makes the dream happen. Hopefully I said that the right way. Um, our team will send out the information that we've promised. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you, Amara. It was Thank great you. talking with you. Thank we'll you so much. Very soon. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Ciao.